Starting off with a Rocket League challenge. All right, brand new account. I have to wait. Meet Copycat Charlie, man. Copycat Charlie, the brand new addition to the Rocket League servers. He is not ranked in a single mode. And Copycat Charlie's goal, wait for it. See it on there. Look at the right side of your screen. Copycat Charlie's goal is to hit Grand Champ in every single mode as fast as possible. And he's under a certain criteria, man, because it'd be easy, right? It'd be, it would be so easy to just make a new account and uh, bing, bang, bosh, copycat Charlie, boom, Grand Champ, boom, Grand Champ, boom, right? Copycat Charlie, man, can only do mechanics or moves that people have done in the lobby. Copycat Charlie has no clue what he's doing, except once someone does something, he can do it. It'll be game sense. This will be mostly rotation game sense. I'm not going to like go crazy mechanics, right? So we're gonna start out with ones. It will be interesting. I'll start the speed run as soon as I get the first game. I'm about to start it. Wait, there it is. All right, we started, man. I'm just gonna boost and flip into the ball. Not too bad, you know, off the start, not too shabby. He's double jumped. Have we seen a flip yet? So far, all we've seen is a double jump. But the most of the, <laughs> the most of this rank, man, you just hit the ball when you want to hit it, right? If you can't hit the ball, you go back to your goal. I'm gonna let him do his thing. Oh, he has stopped moving. I'm gonna see, man. I'm gonna see if I can't trick him here. I've seen someone else do this. I want to say it was Musty. All right, I'm gonna put him on my side of the field. Oh. Yes! <laughs> that was a tough one. Glad we could win it, though. Glad we could win it. Of course. All right, yellow circle out here. Oh, this guy was flipping. Definitely seems a little tricky, you know? Based on the car, I'm smelling a little bit of a smurf, man. I'm gonna try to just destroy him with the classic flakes move. Oh, a quick power slide cut. Actually just bumped him back. But <laughs> All right, we are just going to use the simplest mechanics ever, but do them at the right time. Right? I'm not going to do anything besides just driving and flipping. Right? As much as um, as much as it would be nice to go crazy here. Just drive and flip into the ball. Classic power slide cut, and he's gone. As long <laughs> as long as you don't like overcommit, they will just destroy themselves. I'm gonna send the goal. He is going to destroy himself. I'm gonna let him aerial for it. I'm gonna let him have this one. I try to boost his confidence. He's definitely diamond, man. He is he is definitely diamond. Where <laughs> try me. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Ah! Oh, I can't reach. Bonk. <laughs> oh buddy, good win. But people in ones will completely dismantle themselves as long as you don't overcommit for something, right? So we got great ruler 56 here. Just gonna boost and flip into the ball and then flip into the ball. I love that. That never gets old, dude. He didn't like the defense, man. All right, going for the ball when your opponent has a hit doesn't really turn into much, right? The most time I find it works is if you go for the ball when they can't hit the ball. All right, if they have no opportunity to hit the ball before you can reach it, you hit the ball. If it's gonna be a 50-50 in ones at a low rank, you can just fake challenge, right? He's got a hit, so we'll fake challenge. All right, it's as simple as that one. He's got a hit, so we'll fake challenge. And then now you try to shadow defend, right? Shadow defend it out. All right, I don't wanna commit if he has a hit, right? You don't commit until it's a free ball. Once it's a free ball, it's as good as a goal. It's in their net. If it looks like they have a hit, you back up. If they look awkward, you creep forwards. If it's a free ball, you score it. That's kind of ones at a low rank. He's looking awkward, right? He doesn't have a hit towards my goal. And now I drive at it because it's a free goal. Simple enough, man. That is like ones at any rank below diamond. We got the Tyler, dude. The Tyler. He's going back to his goal. Anytime someone is giving you a lot of space at this rank, hitting the ball high, right? Don't even jump into it. Just chip the ball. 
right? Chipping it up high makes it so awkward to save. So if he just slams this, I'm going to wait. Okay, missed the ball entirely. Now I creep up because he's awkward. He right, doesn't have a big clear, so we're creeping up. And now we just hit a chip shot. And he can't save it. I haven't done anything besides just driving and boosting. He's left his goal open, but I don't want to just score it, right? Okay, he drove by the ball. And he own gold it. I wasn't going to score it, man. He... Okay, he's gone. Thank goodness for the thank goodness for the speed run, man. I wasn't gonna score it here. Right? And he just put it in for me. Into the next one, boys. Got a season eleven silver tournament winner. Short. I'm just showing that you can get straight to Grand Champ with this uh with this philosophy. You can at least get to champ. I wanna try to get to Grand Champ with it though. Once people start dribbling, I'll be able to you know utilize my possession there. He's going to have a hit, so I go back to my goal. And if he gets that one, fair enough, right? That's a good shot for this rank. I'm not going to properly defend it, because that was actually a really good shot. I hit it with the cut, and he put it behind me. Let's see, El Chor. He's looking awkward, so I'm pushing up. He's looking very awkward. I'm just going to flip into it, and it works. Good win for us. He's lost, he's lost connection, man. But anybody that's, like, flat diamond... You can get out of that rank by just letting your opponents panic. We got Zavo787, man. I think if you spend enough time in free play, and you'll be able to hit the ball when you want to hit the ball. That's the only mechanic I'm doing right now. I haven't dribbled, I haven't flicked, I haven't aerialed. He's looking awkward, so I'm not committing. If the play is awkward, you don't want to be the first person to commit. All right, if the play is like we're both driving side by side with the ball, not sure what happens, you just want to play patient. People will self-destruct. Read. Chow defense, easy enough. Chow defense pretty much means having all of the goal in front of you, right? So whatever shot he's going to have, I have the nose of my car in front so that I can cover the entire angle. Right, again, the entire goal is in front of my car. So if he ends up taking a shot, then I can drive into it. Zen is, uh, Zen is a very, very good player. He's trying to demo me and he just missed the ball. We get a goal. Is he going for a demo? Is he going to backflip it? This guy does not want to rotate off the ball. Right, at some point, you have to let your opponent have the ball. Right, if he keeps going over and over and over, he eventually just misses the ball, and we have a wide open net. All right, again, it's like if you have a bad position to commit for, don't bother over committing for it. Right? He's just used up all his boost to side flip past the ball and leave his entire goal open. Right? Another win for the boys, though. Another win for the boys. Anything below plat is really just like you wait and they'll give you the ball. Into the next game here, we got Nosenberg. He's a diamond tournament winner. So this might be a little bit tricky. Okay, he tried to speed flip, but he completely missed the ball. <laughs> At this rank, if you're not doing a proper speed flip, it's worse than just driving into the ball. Looks like he has a direct attack, so we'll keep the shot in front of us. Once he goes full power, then we cut into it. He's definitely the most mechanical player I've done. Same exact position. If you didn't catch it earlier, the shot's in front of me, and he just leaves it because he was too scared. Now we'll make the save. Right now, I'm kind of emphasizing defense and then offense on counterattacks. The shot's in front of me. have it covered. The goal was to only do mechanics that I see people do, so I'm not going to dribble until people start dribbling. So right now, all it is is boosting and flipping. Right, once I see people dribble, then I'll show people how to dribble, but better. But right now, I'm just doing the mechanics that I see at that rank. It's like a generous speed run. I'm trying to speed run, but also not trying. I'm focused more on teaching rather than stomping. Uh, we're against GC3 Champ 7148. It's an interesting name, dude. All right. He's got Grand Champ 3 in his name. Uh, he tried to speed flip, I think. It didn't quite work. He's definitely just going to go for air dribble flip resets, ain't he? See how good he actually is, though. Yeah, not good, man. Thank you for the open net. I'll take that gladly. Easy enough, man. <laughs> he left the match. <laughs> he fell apart because I drove in a straight line. We got Sky Bolt out here. Sky Bolt 2136. And once I see him go for an air dribble... Then we counterattack it. Or probably a little bit too good of a catch. But that was a free one. If you have a free shot, you'll take the shot. 
But if not, then you take the boost. Watch out, Skybolt. It's got a dribble. Oh, man. Ugh! Diamond three and twos? Yeah, fair enough. He's diamond three and twos. That ain't bad. I might have to do a dribble since he's starting to dribble. Or we just hit it around him, though. Hopefully, we can score an open net. Only doing the mechanics that the opponent does. He is starting to dribble. You can have that one, dude. You can have that one. I'm, uh, I'm starting to move into the ranks where people dribble. So, I think this next game, I will probably try to dribble and flick. Got Hot Burrito 69, the chip champ. See what he's all about. I'm still going to drive. People's kickoffs are horrible. <laughs> Hey, this guy's definitely starting to dribble. He's got to go for it, right? I'm not going to go back for defense. It's a good shot. At this rank, that's a pretty solid shot. I'm going to let him have it, right? Going to backflip that into me. I'm going to front flip flick it, right? He almost saved it. He's diamond one, champ two, and twos. Makes sense, you know? So I'm going to beat a champ two and twos by just driving, hitting the ball. Shadow defense. And, uh... Probably doing a couple flicks like that last one. Just gonna try the cut. Take it out. Actually, like, this guy is definitely... It's not unbeatable with, with the playstyle that I've got, but without trying to, like, dribble or flick, I'm not gonna be able to score on him. Unless he leaves his net open. Where did he go? Might have had, like, a bad recovery, right? I'm just gonna try to do something I should be able to just defend. And now we counterattack. There's, like, a... Uh, it's like a bait, right? It's pretty much a bait there. Said you're bad, plat three, but this is great stuff. Yeah, I think most people in ones just need to learn how to shadow defend properly. You keep the ball in front of you, and then you wait until it's a bad shot. Once you get higher up, you actually have to time your challenges. Based on the way I'm playing, he's got like five times more mechanics. Oh, is that our placements? Oh, we got placed. Holy cow. We got placed in diamond two. Division four, man. We can finish that off, and now we're on champ, man. 1v1 placements took 52 minutes. We're into the next game here. We got flip. Who does? He'll turn on that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to dribble if I want to score against this guy. Holy cow. We got a certified dominator on our hands. Nah, this guy ain't ruining nothing, man. I just might have to amp it up a little bit. He's going for another air dribble. People at this rank definitely go too hard for air dribbles, though. Because once you hit it to the backboard, it's a goal. I'm going to try to bait him in. And then just a front flip over him. I can't reach it. Appreciate that, big burlac. It's a cool deal. Oh, all the way in his net, man. I had to amp it up a little bit. That was just a good time shot. Yeah, this guy is most definitely someone who just doesn't play ones, right? He needs a goal, so he's on the clock. Just trying to make him panic. There's the panic. Even people at this rank will still panic. And yeah, I did make my shirt out of my curtain fabric. You are right. Against Squid RL. Into, this is, I think, our first champ game. And we're getting back into it. Hopefully he can miss the open net. He's not going to miss the open net. He's a season 10 grand champion. This guy's definitely insta-challenging, but we played a good 50 there. He hit it right in me. I'll end up maybe hitting it out for me, perhaps. A little Fakerton. Or we're kind of just letting him panic there. And it works again. What exactly is mirror mode? Pretty much I am not doing any sort of mechanics unless my opponent's doing them. It's a way that I can pace my own progression. Simple little power slide cut. I didn't want to like go into plat and then just start perfect playing. I want to be pretty much a mirror of my opponent, but with better positioning and slightly more consistency. In this day and age, getting to Grand Champ is a very... It's a very game sense thing. You don't need crazy mechanics to get Grand Champ. I'd say with enough time, everybody can get Grand Champ, right? We got Vatu RL. I don't think I really have a easy way to shoot. Unless he just leaves the net open. This is the Timmy lock it in mode. Vatu's up. He's air dribbling it from here. Surely it won't do anything. Surely this is just a mega waste of boost to get a counter attack. Surely next time we don't air dribble it to the corner. <laughs> right? When I say I think everybody can get Grand Champ, I think everybody who's willing to put in the hours required to get to Grand Champ, to get the consistency, they can get it. Because I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing a single thing. This guy is just hitting the ball to me and I'm scoring. GG to this guy. No way, Vatu! <laughs> Vatu, did you stream snipe me? 
Vatu, why are you in my trap, man? You're nervous, you did, sorry. You're all good. Just nobody stream snipe me, man. It makes it tougher to play, I guess. We are closing in on the finale of this uh, of this speed run, by the way. Got uneasy rabbit 9706. And we're closing in on champ three here. Not really much more after it. If he wants to take that boost, he can. This means he has a more difficult position. It's more to the side. I got demoed. We are in big, big trouble. Probably a little bit too much, but yeah, we got it, man. Even just forcing a save, though, means that I can get his corner boost there. Oh, that was a, <laughs> a hefty hit. He should just shoot, dude. Just shoot it. He needed to. He took way too long. It let me uh, have a better angle there, right? If he hits it one more, I'm here for it. Right now, my defense is just too good. Should be able to run. That's a little bit too good. Then, bro, you're so lucky. It's the maracas. <laughs> I think it's the maracas, man. Let's see what he does here on the air dribble, yeah? Going for the flip. Nice shot, man. Nice shot. Well done. Give me a, uh, give me a thanks. Give me a thanks. Nice shot. Nice shot, man. Nice shot, Uneasy Rabbit. Nice shot. Oh, man. Let's see. Boing. <laughs> oh, man. There he's gone, man. <laughs> Thank you, barbecue chicken pizza, dude, for gifting the sub. I appreciate it. That was funny, man. There's something satisfying about seeing that, right? I definitely am having to use a little bit more precise shooting mechanics. But if this shows you anything, it's at least that you don't need air dribble flip resets. Challenge for the next game. Every demo is worth one gifted salt. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, man. No way, it's an easy <laughs> rabbit again. Something, 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 something. Oh no, he might just forfeit, dude. Like if I do that too often, he'll just get forfeited. See if I can get a demo. Ah! I can bump him at least, but no demo. Oh, that he's gone. But I agree. It's not fun talk. I got him with a demo. There's one, dude. I'm gonna flick. Simple flicks there. I got one demo, dude. I got one demo. Appreciate the uh, appreciate the gift there. We're closing in to Grand Champ in 1v1. Hopefully, we can win it. This won't be easy, though. Doesn't really help out. Might be able to get around that. Nice little power slide cut. Let's see if hopefully... Oh, brother. Like I was saying, people that go for air dribbles at this rank, they really are just taking themselves out of the play. Like, I have yet to see someone who goes for an air dribble in these 1v1 games that has a high enough success rate to warrant it, right? Like, everybody just wastes a hundred boost and then gives me the ball. Thank you, uh, thank you, Christopher, man. What in the world? Just stopping in, saying hi, dropping a hundred subs, right? Make it easy. The 2K gifter, holy cow, man, seriously. Thank you. That is uh, that is absolutely wild. These 24 hour streams, this is a 26 hour stream. Being able to run it up and have uh, have the goals hit early on, man, get the show on the road is a, it's a very cool thing. It's a very motivating thing. He's gonna turn and challenge. This guy doesn't know how to fake challenge. Uh, this, guy, <laughs> this guy is actually just ball in front of me dead stop he's done it on every play dead stop and backwards jump for it that is how that works that is how that one works again this guy doesn't fake challenge he goes head first are we grand champ are we grand champ yet i'm not sure are we i see yeah i didn't do a single air dribble then do a single flip reset i might have done like four aerials right might have done four aerials max Right, this just goes to show you, shooting, fake challenging, shadow defense, dribble, flick, right? Straight up.